Ignacio Puto had been held in a special cell at this Borstal institution outside Karachi. Tomorrow she was due in court to plead for her freedom. The 30-day detention order against her due to expire this week. Suddenly, under police escort, she arrived at her home in Karachi. Friends and supporters quickly gathered at an Apache press conference as news spread that she was free. The authorities, fearful no doubt of demonstrations outside the court, and aware, according to Miss Buto's lawyers, that the case for her continued detention was weak. The court was hearing my petition tomorrow. I'll tell you tomorrow. All right. And I was confident that the court would set me free because my detention was illegal and unconstitutional. And so I kind of had a feeling that the regime, to save face, would withdraw the order against me. But I expected it to happen later at night, at about 12 or 1, when the rest of the country was asleep. So in fact, it turned out to be a surprise when they came earlier at about 4 to 9 and said, let's go. So this latest round in the battle between Miss Bhutto and the Pakistan government has obviously gone to Miss Bhutto. And what happens next would appear to depend upon just how she and her Pakistan People's Party pursue their struggle for democracy. Vernon Mann, News at 10 at the Bhutto home in Pakistan.